Fala galera, acabei de fazer mais uma aula lá no Cambly e dessa vez na aula eu falei sobre o que eu tô fazendo para estudar inglês atualmente. Que como vocês já sabem, eu tô lendo livro em inglês em voz alta lá no Instagram. Então eu tive uma conversa com a tutora lá, eu perguntei o que ela achava dessa técnica de ler livros em voz alta com o intuito de melhorar a fala e aprender vocabulário. E aí eu aproveitei e também li o livro para ela em voz alta. Aí depois ela fez um lance legal também, que foi fazer cards e pedir para mim ler os cards também. Então hoje eu vou mostrar um pouco dessa minha aula que eu tive lá no Cambly. Se vocês quiserem uma aula grátis, tem um link aqui na descrição. Vocês clicando nesse link já conseguem fazer uma aula grátis. Ou através desse meu código aqui também, vocês conseguem. Se vocês curtem o vídeo aqui do canal, não se esqueça do seu like nesse vídeo. Essa avaliação ela é muito importante. Se não tiver inscrito no canal, se inscreva aí e vamos junto nessa jornada que tem muito vídeo bom vindo por aí. Então é isso aí, como eu disse no início do vídeo, eu fiz um aula lá no Cambly, falando como é que tá sendo a minha prática para melhorar a minha fala em inglês, lendo textos em voz alta. Eu pedi a opinião dela, ela falou lá, vocês vão ver na aula. E vocês conseguem avaliar também o nível da minha pronúncia, o nível da minha conversação em inglês, conversando com uma pessoa que só fala inglês, que é o caso da tutora. Então não se esqueça de comentar aqui quantos por cento vocês entenderam dessa minha conversa e dar o feedback de vocês também do nível da minha pronúncia, da minha fala, se tiver algum erro também, pode comentar que tô sempre vendo o feedback de vocês, eu acho isso muito importante. Are you there? Oh. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good, thank you. Um, my name is Krista. I'm from San Diego, California. It's nice to meet you. What is your name? And my where name, are you from? My name is Thiago. I'm from Brazil. I live in the city of Sao Paulo. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice to meet you. I can see um, you. You have that? a birthmark like me oh um i have a like a freckle freckle yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah freckle i guess there's freckles and then there's moles <clears throat> I, I... so like this is more like a mole i guess like i have a mole there oh, and then nice. this is more like a freckle because <laughs> it's not raised it's like against my skin <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what brings you to Cambly today? Are you learning English for uh, personal use or for work or school? A lot of things for the life. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I have a, a question because... Sure, of course, feel free to ask me anything. I have been studying English by myself and I use a technique that is read books in English out loud. Oh, because, good. Yeah. I would like to know if, it, in your opinion, is this good or yeah. not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think like it is helpful to read out loud because you're like using the language and you're like saying the language um out loud which is good um and you're reading the words so you can see the grammar and the grammar that you're saying is correct so that's good yeah and uh i have a book here and when i read the book i have the audio of uh, the story and okay I... So yeah, so when you have the the ebook, what did you say you do with the ebook? I have the oh, audio. Oh, okay. In... Got it. So you're like listening to the words being spoken. Got it. Yeah. Got it. I understand. Yeah. Nice. Um I have an idea. That? I can I can send a little part of the, uh -huh. the book for you. And then I can read sure. it out loud and you sure. can correct Sure, yeah, no problem. My pronunciation. I'm gonna send for you the... Okay, the boy who couldn't sleep, right? Okay. Yeah. Hey, so I copied the text, so I have it now. Okay, nice. Yeah, I just put it on like a note so that way I can read it like separately. So very, very smart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Go ahead and um you can start reading it whenever. Okay. You want. Uh the boy who couldn't sleep. 
Mm-hmm. On the day that he was born, Max slept for most of the time. And in the first weeks of his life, he slept like other babies. But when he began to look around him, he didn't sleep so much. He slept for a few hours at night and a little mm-hmm. in the daytime. Mm-hmm. Then he stopped sleeping during the day. He was awake for 20 hours. His eyes were always open. God. His mother, Samantha Price, was very surprised. She said that the world, the world was a very interesting place and perhaps Max wanted to see everything. She, she thought this was because he was intelligent. God. The doctors and Pete, as a, this word I, I don't know how to, to say, Pediatrics. Oh, it's um, pediatricians. Pediatricians. Okay. Perfect. The doctors and pediatricians were also very surprised, but they said that they didn't know why Max slept so little. Then a child psychologist studied Max's case. Mm-hmm. He said that it. He said that it wasn't very strange case. His study showed that a lot of modern babies were sleeping less. He wasn't sure why, but he had sleep. Two, 200 years ago, people went to the bed earlier than today. He told Samantha, mm-hmm. life was slower in the past and people sleeping longer. They worked mm-hmm. a lot and they didn't have much money. So they often... So they often after work and mm-hmm. Good. there weren't any electric electric lights is different from candlelight. It's brighter and it keeps you awake. Babies mm-hmm. are influenced in mysterious ways by the world. And if mm-hmm. the world is fast, noise and bright. And if people often go to the bed very late, baby will feel this and they won't sleep so much. Mm-hmm. That's so hard. <laughs> What? What's so hard? <laughs> you did a good job. Uh, you finished it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I've been practicing this. Thanks. Oh, good. So, yeah, I think like, do you, are all the words clear to you? Do you know all of the words besides maybe pediatrician? Yeah. Or you know pediatrician? Yeah, no. I I know, but I didn't I didn't know how to pronounce. Oh, okay, got it. So what's a, what's a pediatrician? It's a doctor who be careful with child. Uh, yeah, it's a doctor who's just for children. Um, yeah. Is a doctor who is only for children and babies. Um, I'm just gonna have you say this word for me really quick for pronunciation. Slept. Uh, Good. Slept. And then worked. Slept. Worked. worked. Yeah. Perfect. Worked. Good job. Like yes, um, I have a stack of cards actually here that's just for Brazilians. <laughs> that because, um, like, I think in your language maybe it doesn't um, it doesn't exist some of the pronunciation for like screamed. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Good, you did a good job because that one's more like a duh noise. Um, but there are a, lo- are a lot that sound like a t noise, like this one. Oh my god. Cocked. Cut. Yeah, Cut. perfect. That one. It's Cut. hard. Cut. Yeah. Então é isso aí, essa foi minha aula. Eu vou parar o vídeo por aqui para não ficar muito grande e depois eu vou postar a continuação para vocês. Se vocês quiserem uma aula grátis, é só usar esse código aqui ou acessar o link na descrição, vocês conseguem fazer uma aula lá no Cambly. Comenta também quantos por cento vocês entenderam e o que eu poderia melhorar na minha pronúncia. Então é isso aí, galera. Se vocês curtiram o vídeo, não esqueça da avaliação. Vamos continuar estudando inglês aí e até a próxima.